Police are trying to figure out why somebody dressed as a police officer ambushed and murdered a fitness instructor at a church. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. Midlothian police only released about seven seconds of video of the killer from a surveillance camera. The woman murdered was a mother of three who taught fitness classes. First on Fox 4 News tonight, Richard Ray at the Midlothian Police Department with more on the murder investigation. Rich. Good evening, guys. There are so many troubling aspects to this crime. A murder committed inside a church, a murder in a town that hasn't seen a murder in years, and a suspect caught on surveillance camera wearing full police tactical gear. The video depicts an unknown male walking inside the church building dressed in police type uh, clothing and wearing a helmet and gloves. He is designed to look like a police officer. His intent was to look like a police officer. Police say the killer was dressed in full tactical gear with a helmet, a vest that says police on the back, and gloves. The killer first appears on a church security camera at 10 minutes to 4 Monday morning. About 30 minutes later at 4.18, 45-year-old Terry Missy Beavers arrives to begin setting up for her Camp Gladiator training session. There's no video of the assault that took place. There is video of, of, of Mrs. Beavers when she first enters the church. Missy Beaver's last Facebook post announced she'd be at the church at 5 a.m. If it's raining, we're still training. I was actually having a class inside the facility today because of the rain, and so her students actually were in the building and found her. And I was in uh, Biloxi, Mississippi, uh, about to go on a fishing trip down on the Chandelier Islands, and uh, I heard about it this morning. I received a phone call from a couple of Missy's campers. Missy's husband, Brandon, arrived home late this afternoon. He would not talk about details of the investigation, but told us he's having trouble absorbing his grief, focusing now on their daughters, 15, 13, and 8, and wanting people to know what kind of woman his wife was. She was very passionate about uh, transforming people's lives physically and mentally. She transformed herself into a just a very fit person, and, and her desire was to, uh, to do that for others. I'm very thankful for that, and I'm uh, thankful for her uh, being such a good wife and a good mother to our children. She's had a very uh, impactful relationship with a lot of people here in our community, and I'm very thankful for all of it. I pray that uh, you know whoever did this will be caught, and uh, I pray for all of the people who uh, who cared so much about my wife. The scene of the murder, Creekside Church of Christ, is located in an otherwise isolated area of Midlothian, generally away from homes and businesses. Police say there is no recent history of a break-in or vandalism there. One investigator agreed the murder certainly has elements of a targeted attack, but they aren't ruling out an interrupted burglary. Several doors were breached at the church, a lot of damage, but nothing found missing. It's just an odd random situation that, that they would actually happen to come into a building that was being burglarized on a Monday morning. Now, this is an extremely unusual situation for the city of Midlothian. We have a very, very safe community. Um, in, in fact, this is going to be the first event of my tenure here in almost 10 years. So nothing like this has happened before. Investigators tell me tonight this is a very fluid investigation. They're talking to a lot of people. The one thing they know is going to happen next for sure is first thing tomorrow morning, a medical examiner is going to do an autopsy and determine the cause of death. Steve, one other note, Old Farms Dairy offering a $10,000 reward for information that leads to an indictment. Crime Stoppers or Midlothian Police, call either. Got it. All right, Rich, a couple of questions. Police, the police chief uh, during that news conference, Kind of referred to the killer as a he. I don't know if the video, I, I can't tell. And, and you've got law enforcement experts saying the video, in fact, may show something else. What, what are they saying? I've had several people look at it and say that's a woman. In fact, one of the people who told me that is a retired longtime investigator from the Dallas County Sheriff's Office. He says this appears to be a woman to him. And the more I look at it, I think it very well could be a woman and not a man. I don't think we can say for sure that it's a man at the very least. And does the tactical gear play into that? I mean, what are police saying about that? Could that be just, you know, a gender hider or is there more to it than that, do they think? 
Well, and that's a, that's a question that came up a lot in our newsroom too. How easy is it to get this stuff? To uh, to get this such realistic uh, tactical gear. I asked an investigator here. He says all of it that he has seen in that picture, in that video, can be bought online by anybody. You don't have to be a licensed police officer to buy that stuff. It's out there. Okay. All right, Richard Ray in Midlothian tonight. Thank you. Now, even though Missy Beavers was found murdered at the Creekside Church of Christ, her family belongs to another church. It's nearby. Tonight, a service there was canceled, and those who knew Missy say they are, are truly overcome with grief. Fox Sports' Brandon Todd spoke with friends and family. Brandon now continues our coverage. What can you tell us? Well, Heather, we're here at the Cowboy Church of Ellis, uh, Ennis County, and uh, I'll tell you what, tonight was supposed to be a church service for those who had missed Sunday morning, but I was told by the associate pastor that what it turned into was simply a lot of people standing around huddling together to pray for the family of Missy Beaver. Now, associate pastor told me also that uh, he's been with the family today, consoling them, praying with them. I'm told her husband, Brandon, even ran sound here at the Cowboy Church for several years. This church is just about a mile down the road from the church where Missy Beaver was killed, and the news has left members here feeling as though they got the wind knocked out of them. She was remembered today by one of her friends as an outgoing, smiling, positive person. She loved her kids, and um, she was just a mom. She was everything to her kids. So. Um, it was just a shock today. She just wanted to make people feel better about themselves. So that's what she was all about. And um, she was, that was her personality. And again, since this happened just right down the road and uh, the suspect still has not been arrested, it drew an interesting response there from Cheryl Snodgrass, who told me that the circumstances have made her much more aware. The first thing when I came in here tonight was make sure what was going on around me so i'm hypersensitive right now and i made sure the cars of who was in their cars when i drove up tonight and again the pastor here at uh, the cowboy church of ellis county told me that uh, at some point they will try and have a service for missy but uh, he was just telling me tonight that it's just not going to happen the emotions heather he said were just too raw Understandable. All right, Brandon, appreciate your coverage. Thank you.